in the question they give you focus uh, figure 7.1 shows a converging lens or a convex lens and its principal axis the imaginary line which is passing through our center the point f r uh, each a uh, principal focus on the figure draw two rays from top of the object to locate the image of o and label that image as i so how you will label this so first we will draw a parallel light ray if light ray is parallel to the principal axis from where it will go if it is parallel to principal axis which point it will pass through so it will pass through focus so you can draw any length a longer line so that you can identify intersection the second ray it's up to you which one you take as a second ray example i am taking second ray passing through the center so if it is passing through the center it will pass straight and the point the position where these two light rays will intersect the point or the position where the two light rays will intersect that is a position where the image will form and we have to label this image as i is it clear only two you need but you can take the third one as well in if you took the th i should start from the top like the two rays should start from the same point so i should start from here and then draw the straight line the point where these two light rays intersect that will be the position where the image will form and we have to label this as i then underline three of the terms which describe the nature of image produced by a converging lens as magnifying glass not like this a magnifying glass like when we use convex lens as a magnifying glass what happened when we use this as a magnifying glass so object is object is between the focus and optical center the parallel light ray it will pass through focus and one through optical center will pass straight the two light rays will not intersect so when we look from other side our brain relocate the position so point where these two light rays intersect that is the position where the image will form this is what happen when we use convex lens as a magnifying glass so what are the characteristic when we are using a magnifying glass number 1 uh, it's of two marks so it's it, it's virtual virtual is there and it is upright as well upright means like same as like object and it is enlarged or magnified so three terms virtual upright and enlarged because you have to men underline three terms and what is the distribution of the marks means if you did two right you will get one mark if you did all correct you will get two marks because in igcse there is no half mark like it will not be 0.66 marks for each answer either always whole numbers are there in igcse so if you get, get two right answers you will get one mark if you get all three right answer you will get two marks if you did get one right answer then you will get no marks for that because there is no half marks in igcse the diagram shows a path of a ray of a red light which is passing through so this is a red light a ray of a green light enter a prism 
so if a green light enter a prism if this was a red light red is having a longer wavelength so it bend least if there was a green light coming from the same point so it will bend more this will be the path if they say for violet again further it will further bend away from the normal figure 7.1 is a diagram of a converging lens used to produce image of an object uh, each point marked f is a principal focus write down three terms describe the image means what are the characteristic of this image inverted that's one no it's not virtual it is real why it is real because what happened when the two light rays you will draw the light rays when it passes through the lens the two light rays will converge at one point so when the two light rays converge at one point the image form is real so it is real and what else it is a real image that's one thing and it is inverted or upside down and when you compare the size no not same distance this is not a mirror same distance is not you you can measure on this you can measure the distance here you will find it's not same it's different you can see the size of image is bigger larger as compared to size of object so the three characteristic of this image it is inverted it is real and it is enlarged or bigger than the object figure 7.2 shows a plane mirror a point o is an object and observer eyes on the figure draw two rays to show the reflection to the observer eye and then complete the figure to draw the position of image so what happened the two light rays will and reflect from the mirror so the the two light rays when it hits the mirror it will bounce back or it will reflect so what happened what happened we cannot see the image here so our brain sense the light is coming straight from the object so when our brain our brain relocate when our brain relocate we'll get the image at this point but how to do this question related to how to do a question related to this so always the object distance the object distance and image distance for a mirror is same so best way to do this question what you will do because what is happening the light rays from the object hit the mirror reflect or bounce back and when our brain relocate our brain produce them backward so our brain produce an image so if you have an object as we know for a plane mirror the object distance and image distance is always same so what you will do you will measure the distance between the object and the mirror example if this is 2 cm so this is 2 cm then 
measure two centimeter and draw the position or mention the position of image. First thing, that is the position of image. Now what you will do after getting a position of image, so this is the example, this was image. So you can draw the rays directly from image to the eye. You can draw the rays directly from image to eye and then join these rays from object to the mirror. So in short, like in a short time, you can just complete the figure. So the, what happened, the two light rays from the object hit the mirror, bounce back or reflect, enter our eye. When our brain relocate, we'll get the image. So best way to do these type of questions, measure the distance between the object and the mirror, and then draw or mention the position of image, draw the two light rays, draw the two light rays from the image, to the eye, from the image to the eye, and then complete this these rays by joining on the mirror. So this is in a short time, you can complete your answer. The only thing, what you have to do, you just have to measure a distance between the object and the mirror, and then just make another distance from mirror to the image. Is it clear? Any doubt in this? <clears throat> Figure 7.1 shows a converging lens and a principal focus. F1 and F2 are there. On a figure, draw two rays from top of object to locate the image. So as you can see, the object is within the focus. So it will be a, in virtual image. So parallel light ray, from where it will pass if a light ray is parallel? So it will pass through F2. And one through the center, it will pass straight. The two light rays will not intersect by themselves. So when we are observing from other end, our brain relocate or create a position. So the point where these two light rays will intersect, that is the position for the image. This image is virtual, it is upright, magnified, same side as object. In the next question, the object O move from, move to the left, like this was object O, it's moved to the left of F1. The object is moved on the left, fig, uh, figure 7.2 is a diagram for new arrangement. Underline three terms, describe this image now in 7.2. What are the three terms which we should underline? This image is real, that's one thing. According to this question, it is real and It is inverted. And when you compare size of object with size of image, it is enlarged. Diminish means it's small in size. Enlarge means greater in size. A laser produces a beam of monochromatic light. Monochromatic means light with a single. What is meant by a term monochromatic? It means light with single wavelength. 
a light which is having only one wavelength we call that as monochromatic a single color scientific definition if you say single color scientifically color is not a right term that's why specifically wavelength of frequency is used then a figure a wave in air incident or hit the glass a wave undergo reflection and refraction we have to complete this so if we want to show reflection this is a these are the wave front so the wave which strike and it will bounce back this is the direction in which the wave will bounce back so moving from air to like this is reflection and how we show the reflected wave fronts so we just draw wave front perpendicular or 90 degree to the direction of the wave this is reflection and how we show refraction refraction means when the air then when the wave travel from one medium to another so when the light travel from one air to glass it will bend towards the normal so when i draw the normal here if i draw this yellow line is representing a normal so it will bend towards the normal and how we show a refracted ray because when it move from so when it travel from air to glass it slow down as the wave slow down its wavelength decreases so wave fronts will come closer to each other so these wave fronts as it slow down so these wave fronts will be closer to each other is it clear this is a figure which in terms of wave front you have to complete so in reflection the direction only changes but the gap distance between the wave front remains same but moving from air to glass the wave the air light slow down so as it slow down the wavelength decreases that's why the wave fronts will come closer Uh, figure seven point one shows a convex lens used to produce an image. Uh, place three ticks in the table to describe the image. What is this image? Diminish. This is enlarge, upright, and virtual. On a figure, mark. a letter e indicate the i where we should place i on the left hand side or on the right hand side which position i should place an i here on the left or right left it should be here on the right hand side because that's how when you're looking from here your brain recreate the position so that's how yes, you recreate yes, yeah. it is on the right hand side you don't have to draw the eye you just have to mention and this image cannot be taken on screen because it's a virtual image state and application in which convex lens is used so we use this as a magnifying no not projector 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 is used for enlargement but it is a real image this is a virtual image so it is used as a magnifier or magnifying glass so this question in a space below draw a diagram to locate the image of an object height 1 cm and place 5 cm A focal length two centimeter. We did this type of question, so you can solve this one as we practiced. Yeah. 
the height is given focal length is given so you can draw this now on a figure draw a reflected ray so when you are showing a reflection through a mirror the best way what you can do just measure the distance between the object and the mirror and look at the position of image and the two rays you will draw from image and just make an eye this is how the light rays actually what happened light rays reflected from the mirror enter our eye our brain recreate or locate the position so it make a virtual image eye is the image which is formed by the imagination of the brain o is the object what happened the two light rays coming out from the object reflected from the mirror and as these light rays reflected from the mirror it will follow law of reflection so it enter our eye when these rays enter our eye our brain recreate the position the point where these two light rays appear to intersect that is a position where we will observe the image so in reality it's not there is just our brain recreate we call that as imaginary but this is a reflection which one yes yeah, so yes yeah, this is a reflection a light reflected from the mirror enter our yeah, eye and see it inside so we will see like if you are standing in front of a plane mirror you observe that all the things are back of the plane mirror in reality nothing is back of the plane mirror it's just a virtual image imagination yeah got it so state the full description of image what is this image what are enlarge the character image enlarge virtual and upright full description yeah. so you have to mention all the points here virtual use a letter on a figure indicate the focal length where is the focal length r which position r, p q r s where is the focal length s s is a focal length because when parallel light ray it always pass through focal length so s is a focal length yes on a figure draw an eye so where we'll draw an eye we'll draw eye at this point figure 7.1 shows an object left of the converging lens draw two rays to locate so first parallel from where it will pass f focal lens so it will pass through the focus one through the center it will pass straight the point where the two light rays will intersect that will be the image, image. <clears throat> for example if in a question you have they give you object and they give you image and they ask locate the position of the lens so how you can locate the position of the lens so in that case if object is given and image is also given and the question is locate the position of the lens So how to look straight line from the top. yeah so so how to locate the position of the lens actually you will draw a line from tip of the object to the tip of image yes. the point where this will intersect the principal axis that is the position of the lens because the light which is passing through the center of the lens does not refract so if some question they ask this like uh, stay or identify position of the lens. so you can identify just by drawing a ray of a light from tip of the object to the tip of image
So these are some questions related to topic light. Others are actually paper six question that we'll discuss in paper six. This was about paper two and four. So I'll end the session and share this recording with you.